Hi, my name is Roger. I'm with Artec Computers, and we're going to talk about troubleshooting in Gateway Solo 2150. First thing that you really have to find out in any scenario when you're dealing with a repair or a problem is uh, what is causing the problem? Is it software that's causing the problem, or is it hardware that's causing the problem? And there's really no simple way of doing this. Um, actually, there is a simple way of doing it, but it's just not very practical. Um, the uh, simple way of doing it would be to make a backup of all of your data. This is actually the ideal way of doing it if you can manage to get through the process as far as um, getting past having to reinstall your programs and bringing your data back. Basically what you would do is you'd make a backup of all your data first because this process is a destructive process. It will cause you to lose your uh, programs as well as any data that's stored on your hard drive. So make a backup of your data. And once you've got that backup made, then um, you can simply use a recovery disk provided by the software manufacturer, I'm sorry, by the computer manufacturer. Um, or you can, um, in many cases, uh, they don't provide any disk, and what they do is they store that recovery information on a separate partition on your hard drive. And you can usually access that partition by pressing F10 or F12 during the boot up process. If you read all the information that's given during the boot up process, you will find that it will tell you whether it's F10, F12, or some other key to access the system recovery cons or to access the system recovery. Um, at that point, you would press that key and uh, go through that process, or use your CDs and go through the process. Again, this is a dest destructive process, but uh, it is probably the best way to do it. Um, and again, you want to have a backup of your system before you do it. Now, once you've made the backup and you've gone through the recovery process, you're going to have one of two things happen. Either the recovery process is going to go through flawlessly, in which case you had a software problem and, well, you've just fixed your software problem by um, wiping it out. Um, you simply reload your programs, re bring your data back, and you're good to go. If it does not fix the problem, however, then the problem is most likely with um, the hardware and uh, it, it, during the recovery process, the system, the system should not crash at all. It should not give you any error messages. It should work flawlessly. And uh, if it does fail in any way, shape, or form during the reco recovery of your um, system back to its original configuration, then you do have a hardware problem. And at that point, if it's under warranty, you can contact the manufacturer, and they will be able to uh, get it fixed under warranty, of course and uh, it'll be very easy for you to talk to them and explain to them what the problem is because you've already eliminated the software and you don't have to spend the hours on the phone with them trying to diagnose what's wrong with it. And once you get it repaired under warranty, obviously your system is fine. Uh, if your system is out of warranty, feel free to contact us, 818-347-1100. We've been repairing computers since 1993 and uh, we can help you with yours.